Hello there everyone, and welcome to my 100% playthrough of Ashes Afterglow on Apocalypse. This is Map 12, Undercity, Part 1. Alrighty, welcome to Undercity. So, looks like we're back in the old metro that we've grown to uh, love. Oh, hello. Oh yes, the journal. Finish bike repairs. Talk to Riggs. Ah, oh, Riggs. Cool, we get to see him again. So yes, this is a new function in this game, the journal. Um, basically, you have different objectives to do in this game. It's not just about going from level to level. Though that is still a big part of it. Don't get me wrong. Now here's another new mechanic. See these trash cans with the thanks lids closed? You can open them and potentially find things. Now, here's a here's a fun little um, detail here. If you open the lids and you find junk, the maximum item count does not go up, nor do you get um, credit for collecting an item. That may be an oversight, I don't know. But yeah, unlike whenever you bash things open and get junk, or that does happen, it doesn't happen for trash can lids. And you can find potentially nothing, like you just saw. You can get armor scraps, you can get junk, you can also get ammo sometimes. I'm pretty sure anyway, which would be helpful, because we need some. Pop a taco. Choca cola. Tickets. Doom City laser tag. Our cream can't fix everything, but it smells nice. <laughs> That's what you call an honest advertisement. And yeah, like I displayed at the end of uh, the previous video, you can go back to the previous level if you want. To an extent, and I will explain more about that later on. But for now, let's just uh, yeah, do some exploring. As you can see, we have more enemies to kill this time. Now, I believe this kill count is... Well, we'll, we'll get there later. Um, I will go ahead and say I'm not going to stress finding every single item in this episode because I don't think I have. <laughs> There's usually a small amount that I can't... It, it, I think most of it is first aid kits that I can't pick up because I'm full on them, but... Ooh, turnstile. <laughs> out and in. And out and in. And out and in. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. Uh, yeah, anyway... Let's uh, explore. More armor scraps. And some junk. Cool. This side over here is completely blocked both ways. You cannot go anywhere. There's nothing to collect either. So. Oh, more arrows. So that's where we have to go. Well, let's be more adventurous. Besides, that way is also a dead end. I don't think there's anything down here, though. Is there? No, there's not. Okay. Um, there is a reward at the end of this path waiting for us. Also, this version of Afterglow, I'm pretty sure the nukage has been given, like, a lighting effect, so it's nice and bright. In previous versions, it was not lit at all, I'm pretty sure. It was just dark. This gives it more of a nuclear feel. Now, let's see if I can sneak upstairs without getting seen. Wish me luck. Nope. Whoa, boy. Bad luck. Bad, bad luck. It is possible to get up those stairs without those guys seeing you, but I'm, I swear it's random. And then, yeah, they can unleash a whole group of uh, bug dogs your way. And we are still a bit strapped for ammo, but I'm, <laughs> I don't know if I want to try to do the crowbar tango with all these guys. Whoa! Oh my goodness, you scared me. You get a shotgun to the face. Come on. Bring it on. I ain't afraid of y'all. You are scarier in large numbers, I will admit that, but... Come on. You ain't so tough. Now, those guys, yeah. They're worse. We're gonna stay at this nice, somewhat safe angle here. And just tag them as we see them. Ugh, I hate those guys. I hate those guys. Yeah, you. The ones with the shotguns and the glocks, I don't really mind as much. I mean, the shotgunners definitely do the most damage out of the bunch because they have shotguns. But they don't have that freakishly fast draw speed that the revolver users do. 
the Glock users are the most tolerable of the bunch. Come on. There we go. Alright, thankfully enemies cannot fall off ledges because this is GZ Doom after all. Oh. Of course I couldn't see you past all those corpses. Why should I be able to see you? Hello, where are you at? See, what I like to do... Yep, I saw your bandana there. What I like to do, if I can see them, is to... Wait for them to get in their firing animation. And then take cover, and then immediately fire on them. Or fire on them first, if I can. But playing that game, especially with those... Yeah, one of those guys. The revolver users, that's dangerous. Because they can draw their weapons super quick. I know you ain't dead. Where are you? There you are. Now you're dead. Okay. Could have gone better, but also could have gone way, way worse. I don't think I'll complain too much about that. <coughs> now, I think there's going to be more. But uh, anyway, I said there was a uh, reward waiting for us at the end of this path. There's a switch that opens the bug dog party room down there. What could this reward be? Well. Hmm. I spy with my little eye a sawed-off shotgun. Yeah. This is my boomstick. And were it not so low on the ammo front, it would be uh, making good friends right about now. Or, you know, whenever we come across our next uh, batch of enemies. Which, as you can see, there's quite a few. There's a higher kill count here than even in uh, back in the game, and this is the metro station. So again, just like with the sub-caverns from 2063, just because we're in a more enclosed space, don't think that means it's safer. Sure, there's less wide open areas for enemies to get the drop on you and all, but still. No, now that being said, that fight we just went through is by far the most difficult one. The rest of the encounters are nowhere near as bad. But hmm, a fork in the road. This way looks interesting. It's got glowing fungi. Let's see what this place has for us. Little mushrooms growing out of the uh, concrete. Some mushroom-looking things growing out of the wall. It looks like the glowing mushrooms from Skyrim. Only, you know, green instead of blue. Danger. Flooded district. Oh. A new level. Hmm. Shopping and street parking. Whoa. We're done with this level already? Well, we could be. But we've got some more stuff to do. So that is uh, another level. So we know not to go there yet. Make our way past the Nukage River. Up into here. Ooh. Now it's yellow. Gross. Alright, who peed in the pool? The apparently somewhat nuclear radioactive pool. See, it looks like there's a blocked ladder. There is a switch up there that frees it, but we can't get to it from here. Hmm. Guess we'll just have to go back for now. That's okay. If we can't get somewhere, we can't get somewhere. No sense trying to fight the laws of physics, even though this is a video game. Okay, so we see a new level over here. We know where to go next. Or do we? Hmm. Let's go this way. Oh, a door opened. Uh, I smell ambush. Let's not uh, let's not press our luck too much. Let's see what we have this way. Ooh, nice and open. Turn back or die. Well, like Austin Powers, I like to live dangerously. Let's not turn back. Let's just. Let's, well, let's not die either, but let's not turn back. Because turning back's for pussies. Well, we can't go anywhere here. Everything is either barred off or graded off or no ladder leading up to the door, so we can't do anything here. Hmm. 
Ooh. That fall looks like it might be mildly painful. But what do we have up here? This is not a secret, but... Oh, pipe bomb. Hey, hey, now we're talking. And some smashables. You can smash those little Christmas trees if you want, but they never hide anything. So, I'll leave it there. It's a cute little decoration. It doesn't deserve the crowbar. Let's just strafe jump our way across here, and... Um, uh, left looks at my... Left looks it might be a bit dangerous. Let's go straight. Oh. Hmm. Hey, guys. Now, what is it those uh, fat enforcer dudes from Rise of the Triad say? Oh, yeah. Here. Catch. <laughs> oh, you want to catch, too? Well, I'm out of pipe bombs, but uh, you can all catch these shells, though. A nice heap and helping of the 12-gauge. Oh, yeah. I think that was a perfect use of pipe bomb. Oh, yeah, see? Good thing we didn't take the left way out because we'd have been face-to-face uh, -face with these dudes. And would have, had to, uh, would have had to have beaten a hasty retreat. And then if you go down here, it just takes you back in this room. Or you can jump up the rubble and climb back up that way if you want, but not too bad. Now, what's over here? Hmm. Did it say something? Oh, it didn't. Okay. Let's see. What do we have over... Exit? Again? But how could that be? <laughs> well, well. This is no longer a linear level-by-level -level game. That's right. Ashes Afterglow introduces a hub system. So, Undercity, the map that we're in now, is one of the two hub maps in this game. There are actually three levels that you can access from here. Um, but one of the three is actually only accessible um, initially anyway. Well, no, you know what? Not initially. It's only accessible through one of the other uh, two levels. <clears throat> so, directly from Undercity, you can go to two different levels. Now, the level exit we were just uh, at, past this turn back or die sign, that's actually where we will be going next. But, we have plenty more to do here first. Welcome to Michonne. Oh? Hey! Look at that, it's Terminus! Oh. <clears throat> well, well, if it isn't our friendly neighborhood fire starter. Listen up. You've worn out your welcome. I'm giving you a day to clear out, then we throw you out. Understood? Why? What's happened? You happened. I don't know what you did out by the spire, but you really stirred up the freaking hornet's nest. You know that, right? We've been getting attacked every other day for the last two weeks. I had no idea. How bad is it? How bad was it? You don't know? Two days after they dragged you back here, it was like a two-week-long, 24-hour bring-a-pal mutant convention. Non-stop, day and night. I've gone through more ammo in these past few days than I normally do in a month. Hey, I didn't have anything to do with this. Go see Riggs in his shop. He's been looking for you. And don't give me any of your excuses. I don't have time for you. I have a town full of people to keep safe. Whatever. What is it, Scaver? I can't leave until my bike is fixed. Not my problem. That's for you to figure out. Guess you'll have to push it out. Or walk to the next town like the rest of us. Is there anything I can do to help around here? You really want to help out? A lot needs going to get this place back together. Ask around. But you might be a lot more popular around here if you just stayed out of trouble. Where did all these people come from? Is it normally this busy? Ours wasn't the only station that got hit. All of the nearby stations have gone dark. A lot of people had to leave their homes. The whole city has turned into a war zone. Did you block off the front gate and the mall entrance? Yep. We were just getting hit way too hard, so I blocked all traffic moving out those exits. We've left the southbound line here open for emergencies. We're also letting people in through the southeast entrance by the mall, but it's not exactly safe yet. Hmm. Apparently a lot has happened over the past couple to few days I've been out. Apparently toppling the spire stirred up the freaking hive. Huh. Well, let's see. 
Talk to Riggs, huh? Well, I will talk to Riggs, but uh, I think I want to explore a little bit first. So there's the exit to what normally would be the city, but it's completely sealed off now. The door doesn't take you anywhere. It's completely barred off. But if we go near where the pit is, yep, remember the fighting pit? Oh. Fight night. Local assholes duke it out. Mojo, son of Jojo, versus five pit fiends. Hmm. Pit spell with two T's now, huh? Interesting. We will be going there in just a bit, but not quite yet. First off... Hmm. Secret number one of three. And we get our pipe bomb back. Very nice. And just like in 2063 in Terminus, this train car has a couple of pieces of junk on it, so let's take it. Hmm. Ooh. Hey, Mr. Gunman. Sup, Scav? Need some ammo? You got any weapons for sale? Sure. I still have some shotguns for sale. Pump action, with or without graffiti. I also got a fine selection of 9mm pistols. Maybe you could get an upgrade over that old-ass revolver. Hey, we could do a trade. You got anything better? Sorry, man. All my special stuff has already been sold. But don't sweat it. As soon as Riggs sorts out the ammo problem, we'll be getting back to making some new killing gear. What ammo problem? We're running out, that's the problem. The guards used a ton in the last few raids, and the mutants keep coming. We're using up brass quicker than we can refill it, and right now there ain't much getting refilled. Why is that? Riggs is saying he needs primers for the bullets, that he can't make anymore until he gets some. That's why I've had to raise the price. You'll have to go next door and ask him if you want to know more, my dude. Know where I might be able to find any? You know, I'm not too sure. There used to be an old survival store in the Flooded District, back when I used to run with gangs. That place got cleaned out years ago, though. Might still be a few left lying around there, if no one found them and realized what they were. Flooded District? Where's that? That's what we call the East Downtown area, the bit that wasn't all smashed to pieces. Head upstairs behind Violet's place. The entrance is on the East-West platform. Oh. And bring hip waders, my dude. It's a fucking swamp this time of year. <laughs> I might check it out. Thanks. Hey, man. The sooner we can start filling brass, the sooner we can start putting it to good use. I'll be here if you need something sooner, though. Before I go, I need ammo. Not much, man. I got some good old 45s, a few tens of 9 mil, a couple of tens of 12 gauge shells. It's in limited supply until more comes in. Or, it's in limited supply. Until more comes in, this is all I have, so get it while it's hot. Why the shortage? Uh, I'm good for now. Cool, cool. Well, do you want anything else? Grab it now, man. It's not going to be here forever. How's business? Eh, it's been pretty good. All these new kids from the other stations have pretty much cleaned me out. Kind of wish they had more money, though. And kind of wish I had more stock to sell. Why are you so low on stock? Supply and demand, my dude. And with all these new people slumming it here, our demand is sky high. But that's nothing compared to our ammo shortage. Jesus. Hmm. Ammo shortage, eh? Oh. Oop. Hang on. Pause for a second here. Alright, I'm back. Just had to answer some text messages. Might have to answer some more, but uh, I'll just cut out the parts that are, you know, me doing nothing. But anyway, ooh, what is this? This is new. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I'll talk to Mr. Riggs first. Yo, Riggs, what's up? Scavenger, you're up. Hmm. Don't worry about the captain. How are you feeling? What's his beef? Like I said, don't worry about it. I'll have a little talk with him later. What about you? You look like hell. Better. Just been out for a little stroll. How's my bike doing? Already? Man, I don't know how you do it. Your bike? We'll talk about that later. You should have seen the state you were in when they pulled you back here. Ah, uh, nothing much. Radiation sickness, cuts and grazes. Oh, and a skyscraper fell on me. That was pretty bad. Sounds it. You'll have to tell me all about it later. Go see Violet at the bar. She was worried about you. And stay clear of the captain for now, unless you want to get chased out of town. Alright, I'll come back later. Alright, Miss Violet. Yes, the old last stop bar. I assume that is still what it's called, right? 
Oh no, the Angel's Arms. Ooh. Welcome. We accept gas, scrap, ammo, and Kims. No slavers. The last stop. Oh. So I guess this the settlement is still known as the last stop, but the bar is now called the Angel's Arms. Ooh. Oh, and this is different. Some additions been made. I think this door was locked last time. Hmm. Text message break. One second. All right, back again. Oh, there's Violet. Let's see what all we have here. Ooh. <coughs> oh, I'm sick. Uh, it all started when I was but a young scaver. <laughs> Man, this place is a lot more populated now. Oh, hey, uh, Doc. Looking a little rough. Doc Lipsky. The pudgy man peers at you over his spectacles. Ah, my errant former patient reappears. Clearly the concept of rest and recuperation is an alien concept to your kind. I trust you aren't undoing all my work saving your life, yes? I'm feeling great, actually. Hmm. Luckily, you must have the constitution to make up for your lack of sense. Are you here for a checkup? Or do you intend on raiding my stores for medical supplies? If you are feeling well, you don't need my services. I need healing. You don't look that bad. I swear, I save you from the brink of death itself, and in only a mere few days, you're already falling apart. Well, the best cure I can recommend is rest and a meal. Go next door for those. Next! I'll live. I'm here to ask you something. Questions, questions. <sighs> Unless they relate to medicine, I'm not likely to be able to help you. Please, keep it short. Do you know who it was who found me? Another scavenger type. I didn't catch his name. I believe Violet is familiar with him. He dropped you here with what little you were carrying and left without saying anything. At least to me. Charming fellow. Did he not leave any of my stuff? If I recall correctly, just your pistol, a crowbar, some bullets, your lantern, an empty backpack. Oh, and that rather fetching statue that now adorns the bar. I imagine he probably took the rest of your belongings as compensation for your timely rescue. Fair trade, if you ask me. How bad was I, Doc? You had a cracked rib, serious concussion, multiple cuts and grazes. Oh, and a rather nasty case of radiation sickness. We had you on radio... Uh, what does that say? Radio Garde? Is that a C or is that a G? That's a G. We had you on Radio Garde's treatment for the entire time you were here. Miraculous that you recovered at all, let alone so soon. Did I have anything on me? Did that scaver take my things? Let me ask you something else. Where are you from, Doc? <sighs> I only recently moved here. I was originally from another station, East Point. You can get there by following the blue line eastbound from here. Well, you used to be able to. They had to collapse that tunnel after we fled. What were you running from? Mutants, attacking the barricades. I've never seen so many. They were almost maddened. We weren't ready, not in the slightest. They broke right through our defenses, running straight through the gunfire. It was a disaster. I'm sorry to hear about that. I learned my trade there, you know. Carried out my first procedure. A shame. It was a lovely station. Right next to the old public gardens. Much more agreeable than this place. Do you have time for another question? Is there anything specific you need looking for? Oh yes, you are a scavenger, aren't you? We're always short of something or another, the most important of which is medicine. Personally, some good, dry tobacco would be nice, but that's wishful thinking on my part. What medicine do you need? Stems? First aid packs? I always need more first aid packs. If you run into any medical stems or medicine though, those are also highly sought after. Especially in... this place. There is no charity though. I can gladly compensate you with a more than generous reward. What stems are you looking for? There are many varieties. All are easy to apply without medical knowledge, and most have medical qualities. Medicinal qualities. The most useful to me are Regen and Purge. If you are unable to identify a specimen, though, please bring it here. Hmm, never mind. What medicines do you need? Electrolyte powders, oxycodone, diazepam, penicillin, amoxicillin. All very rare now. 
all of them incredibly useful, especially in, well, this rather damp and closed living space. Only labeled items, though, if you please. Okay, so any drugs with long names? Check. Well then, is there anything else? If not, I need to prepare for my next patient. Alright, so, another objective. Find medicine, search city. Hmm. Alrighty, more and more objectives. And look at the gap between the first one and this one. There's got to be a lot more to get done around here. I think we've kept Miss Violet waiting long enough, and hey, there's that statue. Let's see what she wants. Oh, and yeah, also, mouth animations. Pretty cool, huh? Hey, Sleeping Beauty. I didn't know you were up and about. How are you? Much better, thanks. Good to hear it. We didn't know if you were going to pull through. I've never seen anyone walk away from a night in a rad storm. So, what's happening? Oof, you picked the wrong time to come visit, Scavenger. I don't know what stirred up those cannibals, but they are angry. We've had attacks every few days. It's crazy. Yeah, it seems the guards think it was my fault. I doubt it. This always happens every now and then. A lot of people forget the mutants were here long before this settlement was started. They probably see us as the invaders. Don't worry about it, really. I'll try. Have you got a moment? Of course. Anything you need, just give me a shout. I love to hear this big story about the tower. She drops a tall glass of something in front of you. What is this? A new invention of mine. I call it the Angel's Kiss. Try it. It's on the house. Drink. You see spots for a moment. The taste is interesting. So? So? How was it? Wow. This stuff has a kick. Nice. Not sure about the aftertaste. She takes the glass from you. Hmm, maybe a little more fruit next time. If I can find any. Hey, it's a work in progress. Bungus brewing is hard, you know. Phew. Anyway, uh, can I ask you something? What do you need? I'm a font of all kinds of bartender. Bartendery wisdom. Most of it's true, she winks. I need to know what happened after I was brought back here. Oh, it's been insane. After that scavenger dragged you back, the whole city went nuts. The mutants have really got it in for us these days. I'm surprised all the gunfire didn't wake you. Who brought me back here? I don't remember. Oh, that was Walker. He's a scaver like you. Well, sort of. He comes in every now and then to trade. I've never seen him help anyone before, though. He didn't say much either. Just dropped you off at the dock's place. Then left. I think he took my stuff. Really? He didn't look like he was carrying that much. And he left your pistol. And your lantern. And the statue. Are you sure you didn't drop it all? You were under a falling building. But if you really think it was him, why don't you ask him? What else do you know about this walker guy? Not a lot, really. He kind of keeps to himself. I know he's been here in the city for a pretty long time. But he doesn't seem to like people very much. He doesn't much like questions, either. So try not to ask him too many. You might get more out of him, but I sure didn't. All right. Where does this guy live? Walker lives in the flooded district, I think. I've never been myself. All that radiation would ruin my complexion. But I'm pretty sure he said he found an old church he quite liked. Maybe you could try there? Be careful, though. I hear it's pretty dangerous. Tell me about the flooded district. You can get there from the south gate. Just turn left and take the east tunnel. You'll find a platform down there, stairs leading up. It's a big place, by the way. A lot of it is the upper levels of the mall. Good salvage, but... Pretty dangerous. Can you tell me about the other districts? Hmm. You've already seen most of downtown. Well, what was left of it. That was where the spire used to be. Apart from that, you can still get to west side, the flooded district, and the gap from here. Those are the only parts still accessible. At least for now. Tell me about west side. How do I get there? West side is easy to get to. Take the tunnel right as soon as you leave through the south gate. I hear there's an abandoned motorcycle factory up that way. I bet that would help you if you are if you need parts. Be careful, though. I hear a new gang was trying to move in there. Anywhere else that's good for scavenging? Oh, loads of places. I would try Westside first. There was a factory there at one point. The flooded district is also a pretty good place for salvage, apparently. That's what I've heard, anyway. Flooded district? That sounds fun. Let's see... 
Where and what is the gap? That's what we call the northeast side, what used to be the hotel district. It's very modern, a lot of newer buildings were there. Not that you can tell. Something split the whole district in half, and it's also probably one of the worst areas to explore. Why? Is it dangerous? As bad as downtown, but 24-7. Most of the other scavers avoided it. They say it's right next to the crater that killed this place. All the streets are filled with rubble, so you have to climb between the towers. And it's full of rads and mutants. Like, permanently. Imagine I want to get there. How would I do that? You scavers really don't know what dangerous means, do you? Uh, if you really want to get there, you'd probably have to find a way through the flooded district, and then head north. There is a more direct route in an adjoining tunnel, but someone pulled up the ladder. I don't know why. I'll be careful. That's all I need for now. Something else? What'll it be? Oh. I need information on the city. Oh, that's my specialty. Well, apart from keeping people drunk and happy. It's a big place. Show me your map. I'll add in all the different places. There we go. Uh, what did you want to know about? Anywhere I can get scrap or motorcycle spares? Oh, loads of places. I would try Westside first. There was a factory there at one point. The flooded district is also a pretty good place for salvage, apparently. That's what I've heard, anyway. Yep, that was already said. I have other questions about the city. What did this place used to be? I imagine it wasn't always just the city. You don't know? Huh. Well, it used to be a place called Atlanta. So many people used to live here. The biggest, brightest city for miles and miles around. It's... different now. It used to be miles from the ocean, they say. Uh, never mind. Uh, let me ask you something else. Something else? What'll it be? I better get going. Sure. Oh, hey, one more thing. Do you... She looks sad for a moment. Do you think you could do me a favor? I if you've got time and all. I know you're pretty busy. Sure. Tell me what you need. Well, I have a friend. She's a scaver like you, but she's pretty new to it. She used to come here every day, but I haven't seen her for a little while, and I... I'm worried she got herself into trouble. Okay, what does she look like? She's got really pale skin, white hair, but she usually hides that, and her face under a hood and dust mask. The last time I saw her, she was wearing a green dress, black jacket, and leather arm guards. Honestly, you can't miss her. Weren't most of the other scavengers lost in that dust storm? No, she's definitely been here since then. She doesn't usually go topside. She doesn't much like it. She much rather prefers exploring the subway tunnels. She was trying to find a way to get to some lost northbound line last time she was in here. If I see her, I'll let you know. Thank you. That's all I ask. Her name is Porcelain, by the way. And if she... didn't make it, could you please bring back her necklace? If you can find it. It would mean a lot to me. I'll see what I can do. So, wow. A lot of info given there. Find missing scavs. Search subway. There's all the different districts. Yes, so we have the flooded district, west side, and the gap. And, possibly the most interesting news of all, this is indeed based in Atlanta. Or a very, very futuristic and post-apocalyptic version of Atlanta. So, this subway that we're in, I imagine is supposed to be the Marta Line. Or at least very heavily based on the Marta Line. Very, very interesting. Pause again. Alright, yes, back again. So yes, this is Atlanta. Atlanta, Georgia. And we are in the Marta Line, at least I assume it is. And also check out the journal. Spire Radio, 122.1 FM. Hmm. 1221. Remember that? This must be all the fungus that they keep for brewing. So anyway, yes, we have to find a missing scav. This is Violet's friend Porcelain, but we have some more stuff to explore first. Hmm. Who are these characters? Oh, sorry, friend. I hope we're not in the way. We're waiting for a sleeping space. We'll be out of your way in no time. It's fine. You're not in my way. Ah, where are my manners? I'm Rufus, and this is my friend Victor. Hey, Vic. We both came from Somerville Station, along the Green Line. The mutants hit us pretty hard about four days ago. We're waiting here for a new space to become available. 
I hope we're not troubling anyone. You aren't. Can I ask a few questions? Oh, of course. By all means. You know, since we got here, barely anyone has even spoken to us. I'll be glad to answer any questions you have. Just stop me if I'm rambling any. <laughs> Can you tell me about the attack? It was awful. They hit us so fast. Blood and shooting and screaming. We didn't really have many guards. Ours was always a pretty quiet station. The creatures cut them apart in a matter of moments. I climbed down to the tracks and tried to get away. Victor here, he just put me on his shoulders and ran all the way down the tunnel. I owe him my life. Is Victor your... son? Oh, no, no. We're not blood. I met Victor when I first came to Somerville. Victor is... a very special young man. He doesn't see the world you and I do. I've been teaching him how to read, how to mend his clothes, to cook for himself. He might be a little slow, but his heart is in the right place. I don't know what happened to the rest of his family. He can't remember. Did anyone else survive? Not many. Not everyone came here. Jared, who runs the store next to us, he made it. Most of our people died, and the guards here had to seal the tunnel to stop any more mutants reaching here. I hope some got out, maybe to the west, but without food or shelter. Can you tell me about your station? Somerville Station. Not many of us managed to reach this place. Somerville is... was on the northwest side of downtown, just west of the Gap. It was a little... hot on the outside. It's a lot closer to the crater than Michonne, but there was very little flooding. It wasn't a large community, but we managed to make ends meet. What did you do for food or fuel? Oh, you don't know? We had pigs. It was our main trade and food source. I don't know who it was who managed to get them into the subway, but whoever they were were a genius. Have you ever eaten pig? It's a lot better than mushrooms, let me tell you. We could also use the fat as fuel and lanterns and small generators. I expect the mutants have killed them all already. It won't be easy to find more. How did you get to Somerville? Don't bother. They collapsed the tunnel. It was a nice place, but not easy to get to. The outskirts had another entrance, but it was infested by these big, nasty creatures. We called them Windigo, and if you ever let one see you, it would chase you for the rest of your life. Damn creepy things. You need anything? Ah, you're a scavenger, aren't you? Believe me, we'll be fine. We just need a place to rest, and the captain assures me that we will get a spot as soon as one becomes available. Victor might be getting a job with the bartender downstairs, so we should be okay for money. You're going to helping with the mushrooms, aren't you, Victor? Or you're going to be helping with mushrooms? I can spare a little scrap if you need it. Oh, that won't be necessary. I managed to save a little money. I'm sure I can make it last a few more days. As long as we can afford a little food, fuel, and water, we'll need nothing more than that. I insist. Here's ten bucks worth. Get yourself some water. That is very kind of you. I will be sure to put this to good use. Of course, if what Victor says is true about the mutants leaving the city, we might be able to find a new home soon. What do you mean about the mutants leaving? Ah, you don't know? I suppose our station was a bit further north than here. We get a better view of the rest of the city. Tell the nice scavenger what you saw, Victor. Okay, I'll talk to Vic. Hello, I'm Victor. Rufus told me you saw something? Oh, you want to hear about the monsters? I saw them, I did. The big pink men. Tell me about the monsters, Vic. Huh? Hey, Rufus calls me that sometimes. I like to climb up on the roof of the stations. It's really pretty. You can't stay up there, though. That's what the guards told me. It's too radioactive. That's a kind of poison that kills you from the inside. But it's okay if you don't stay up there too long. I count to 20, then I go back down. That way the poison doesn't get through my skin. Tell me what you saw, Vic. I saw the monsters. It was a few days ago. They were all walking through the city. They were walking up the big road that goes into the desert. Some of them were really big. One was as tall as the ceiling here. I counted them. There was 1,565 of them. It was hard to see because of all the dust. But I'm really good at counting things. Much better than anybody else. That's what Rufus says. Wow. Uh, which way did they go again? That way. He points to the northwest, you think. They were walking along the road that goes around the big crater. I don't think the poison hurts them as bad as it hurts us. But they could have gone through the crater, and they didn't. I think there's too much radiation in the crater, even for them. I hope they don't find any people. Some of them had really big guns. I miss our station. They don't let us up on the roof here. I see. Thanks, Vic. 
Well, 1,600 and however much that was mutants, that does not sound like good news. Hey, you must be Jared. The man breaks into a wolfish grin. Ah, a scavenger. Now here is an individual who understands the value of salvage, am I right? And I got the best in town. Want to see? What do you sell exactly? Oh, I got all kinds of stuff here, kid. Take a look. I got cigarette lighters, gas mask filters, steel cap boots, maybe a glow-in-the-dark watch. I just know I got something here for you. Okay, let's see what you have. Name's Jared, by the way. Pleasure to meet you. You know, the moment I saw you, I could tell. This is a guy who gets shit done. He doesn't need crap. You need quality. You won't believe the offer I'm about to make. Uh, okay, Jared, look. First things first, I can see you use a respirator. Good thinking. Never know when you might run across a chemical spill. But is it as effective as it needs to be? How about one of these full gas masks? Huh? Huh? Guaranteed safety. Those look a little small. No? How about one of these fine watches? You get caught out in a rad storm, need to lay low. But how are you going to track time? Look at this one here. Glows in the dark. Genuine. American. Radiation technology. Yeah, that does look pretty. Not for you, huh? I completely understand. You don't live by gadgets. You live by your wits. Your guts. Your balls. You need a knife. Not just any knife. This MacGyver knife comes with 12... No, wait, that's another one. 13 different tools included. Value. That's really nice, but... Okay, uh, how about this little wind-up radio? You know all kinds of broadcasts are popping up all over this place. You don't want to be hearing that stuff a month later. With this, you can have the freshest news right in the palm of your hand. Just spin real fast and listen. Wait, let me see that one. Ah, you like this, huh? Look, no batteries needed. He starts rapidly winding the crank on the radio, the radio making a quiet whine as it charges. Wait. Eventually, he stops winding and turns on a little switch on the side. Static hisses from the speaker. See? Easy as that. No batteries, no fuss. You can pick up all kinds of stuff on this. How much? For you, I'll give you a great offer. $100 in scrap or dollars. How's that sound? Hmm. That's a little steep for a novelty. Would you settle for 50? I can't go that low. And this is no novelty. This is a very rare piece of pre-war engineering. Just think of what you could be missing out on if you pass this up now. $80. Okay, how about we go 60 and throw in some of those postcards? Hey, not my postcards. All right, you're robbing me blind here, but I'll go as low as 60 This is a sweet deal, Scav. I can't believe how little I'm asking. Sounds fair. Here's 60 All righty then. There anything else you need? I got a lot of customers in little time, and all this stock must go. You got time for some questions now? Questions? Pah, whatever. Make it quick. I'm not a comedian, kid. I don't make money by flapping gums all day. Where do you get all your inventory? Well, a lot of people come up here with just their personal belongings, right? No money for food or beds. It's a real problem. So I buy up whatever they do have. When they get settled, they can always come back and buy back their stuff. For a small percentage, you get me? I see. Do you get many scavengers in here? Huh. Now that I think of it, not so many. You'd think there'd be more here. Huh. Guess that means you get to be my main supplier, my man. We can make a lot of dough, you and I. He winks with both eyes. Hmm. Though where did you say you were from? Me? All the way over from Somerville Station. God rest their souls. The minute those muties charged the gates, I was already packed up and booking it down the tracks. I can spot a mutie, and a deal, a mile away. Shame about those other bums, but life goes on. Hmm, good for you. That's all for now. Alright, well, 60 bucks we get this nice little novelty radio. I'm sure we'll find some use for this. But man, oh man, this place has gotten way more populous since I was here last time. Mm -mm. Oh, this must be a way out. And a way out it is. But it's not accessible right now. We'll have to see that later. But... In the meantime, let's say we do a little shopping. And I don't mean shopping for groceries or deals or you know, alcohol or cigarettes. No, 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 no. That's old hat. We are instead shopping for a secret. Oh, 
Well, who are you, sir? Oh, sure. Help yourself to all my stuff. Not like I need it, right? That is supposed to be Vostiok himself. Yep, the creator of the Ashes series. And ooh, thank you for your junk, Mr. Vostiok. I'm sure uh, you'll find more. You'll excuse me. I'm gone. Okay, so let's see. Bike repairs, missing scav, search the subway, uh, find medicine, search the city. Hmm. Looks like there's still more stuff. I believe... Um, I believe Riggs did tell me to talk to him when I was talk or uh, when I was done talking to Violet. So uh, let's go talk to him again. Right, she fill you in, yeah? So the shit has hit the proverbial fan, and a lot of stuff happened in the last week. Most of it bad. I'm listening. <sighs> you want the good news or the bad news? Uh, good news. The good news is I managed to get your bike mostly working. Mostly. Still needs a few things, but we'll get to that. Also, the mutants have stopped attacking. At least for now. Okay, so what's the bad news? Your bike still needs parts that I just don't have. And that town you came from, the wall? Someone attacked the dam, burned it to the ground. So don't bother going back that way. You gotta be kidding. Yeah, things aren't exactly great right now. So that's why people here are a little... on edge. We've got a lot of work to do if you want to get out of here. What's still wrong with my bike? Man, I did the best I could. Sorted out the steering, drained and cleared the fuel tank, changed the brake pads. When that area flooded, it almost washed away. But damn it, Scav, I'm, I'm a gunsmith, not a motorcycle mechanic. There's stuff in there that I don't even want to try messing with. Tell me about the wall. Has it really been destroyed? We're not sure what happened. Got a call on the radio saying they were under attack. By the time a patrol got there, it was all over. Town's a ruin now. No bodies, though. And if anyone got out, they haven't made it here yet. Just tell me what I need to do. Well, if you want to get out of here still, you're going to need to find new parts. It was a pain in the ass dragging it back here, by the way. I got a list of what you'll need to find. I could use a new scaver in the meantime, if you're needing cash or repair work done. What parts do I need? Have a look yourself. I'm only guessing from what her manual said. She'll need a new battery for sure. The old one is too water damaged. And I'd probably grab some more fuel if you want to get further than a mile or so. There's a few places I would check first, but it'll be tricky finding all this stuff. Any idea where I should start looking? Well, first choice would be that old motorcycle plant over on West Side. That's the obvious place to start. You can get to West Side by heading out of the gate and taking the tunnel to the right. Ask Violet, though. She might know of more good spots to look for. What happened to all your other scavers? Well, apart from the guy who brought you here, we haven't seen many of them. They either moved on when the attack started, or they died during the storm. It was a pretty bad week. That's why I need you here, for now. Consider it payment for fixing your shit. The scaver who brought me back. Who was it? Where are they now? Oh, him? Did Violet not tell you? I think his name's... Walker. He's a real weird guy. Comes in now and then to trade, then fucks off into the city again. He's usually gone for weeks at a time. I think he lives somewhere in that flooded district. You can get there from the eastern tunnel, out the front gate. I guess I'll get started. Great. I'll be here if you need anything. I have a few things to sell you might want. And bring back anything useful you find. We're really short on supplies at the moment. How's business been? Not great. Well, I sold out pretty much everything. Ended up giving away a ton as well, when the fighting got really close. Now we have an ammunition shortage, and it's been a damn headache trying to get more. Tell me about the ammunition shortage. Well, right now we need primers. I managed to scrape together a ton of casings and even brewed up some powder. I can make the bullets, just not the primers. So if you happen to find any, that would be really swell. What are primers for? Oh, they're like little caps that go in the bottom of ammunition. It's what causes the bullet to fire off when you pull the trigger. They usually come in these little strips or boxes, and they're made from some pretty rare chemicals. But what's the problem with making new ones? <laughs> well, I found a book that tells you how they made them before. They use some sort of nitrate compound. Seems pretty complicated and dangerous. I don't fancy losing my fingers trying, but I might have to figure it out if I don't find a fresh supply. I'll keep an eye out for any. Sure. Anything else you need? Tell me about all the refugees. 
Yeah, we've got a lot of newcomers. When the mutants attacked, a lot of people ended up coming here. So far, we've had no issues with them. A lot of them are helping out with building new living areas. But the people are still coming, and this station is starting to get a little cramped. Sure, let me ask something else. Hmm. Let's see here. Okay. I think at some point Riggs tells you, or I know he does, he tells you about the workbench. That may be after you get the parts for him to fix your motorcycle, but I don't know. Uh, speaking of which, though, the workbench. Yes, look at this. You can actually mod your weapons now. Now, it does cost 150 junk for each mod, but let me tell you, it is a very, very worth it mechanic. I actually don't think I spend my scrap on basically anything in this episode. I just use it to craft a bunch of crap for my weapons. But, like I said, it requires 150, and I just don't have that right now, so we will have to come back another time. But, oh, believe me, I already know the first mod I'll be making. Your motorcycle is here. She looks like she's had work done on her, but it still looks like something's missing. Yep, and there's our next objective. Find ammo primers, check flooded district. Find batteries, search the city. Find gasoline, search city. Bike parts. Well, before we head out to uh, west side, which is where we'll be going first, by the way. That's the, uh, that was the level exit near that area that said turn back or die. So the flooded district is the other place. The gap is somewhere else entirely. We'll get there later. But, ooh, hmm. Whoa, the pit's gotten a bit of a renovation. <laughs> Who's this shady character? What? The shifty-looking guy whirls around to face you. I told you he ain't ready yet. Oh. Oh, you're that scavenger. I thought you left town already. Who are you? Me? I'm a... nobody important. He looks around nervously. Look, man, if you're gonna... If you're looking to buy the stuff, I still got some. I haven't got much, though. And if you're asking about Mojo, he ain't ready. What are you selling? Take your pick, man. Need something to get high? Jellies, 40 bucks for a bag. Need help sleeping? Devil dust, a pinch for just $20. I also got my ear to the ground, comprende? You got questions, I got answers. Uh, sure, I got some questions. He leans in close. Hey, keep it down. Information is power, man. Secrets don't like sunlight, dig? So, uh, what do you want to know? I'm looking for someone. Another scavenger. He leans in closer. Shh! Scavers are some of my best customers, and they don't like people giving out their secrets. You want to know more? You better cough up the dough. For insurance. 20 bucks and you can ask away. Uh, never mind. I'll pass. Alright, look man. I'm kind of busy right now, so if you don't want anything, then step back and give me some air, yeah? Can you tell me about that mutant over there? Mojo, the mutant down there in the pit. You're not here for the fight? Or are you here for some chemical relief? I can sort you out, man. Just take a look at what I have here. Mojo? Yeah, man. Mojo, son of Jojo. The toughest, meanest mutant to ever walk the halls of this station and live. And that's saying something. He's my prize fighter. He just... Well, his head isn't in the game right now. But soon, you'll see. He's a stone-cold killer. But who is Jojo? Jojo, the former champ. Well, until his rather untimely end. He was a real tough guy. Had quite a few wins to his name, even if he was dumb as shit. He made a lot of people around here a lot of money. Shame that last fight wiped him out. But I got his one and only son, and Mojo is even more of a badass. Is he really his son? How can you tell? Oh, sure. I mean, maybe. They kind of look the same. Honestly, I don't know if those things even have kids. They just seem to show up one day. I don't think I've even heard of a chick mutant either. Oh, and before you say anything, I don't want to either. Mojo was just some mutant I downed in the last raid and I bagged him and brought him here. So you're Mojo's manager, huh? Yeah, his manager. I like that. I was just going to go with owner, but that sounds much more professional. Nice, man. Yeah, so after Jojo got killed, I took him in. He's been a bit of a handful, but trust me. He might be just stood there right now, drooling and scratching his ass. But he's a whirlwind of pain when he gets going. Who was Jojo? I smell bullshit. Alright, look man. I'm kind of busy right now. So if you don't want anything, then step back and give me some air, yeah? What do you do here? Me? Huh. I'm a fixer, man. You need something? Drugs? Information? Contacts? I can get them for you. 
Everyone around here comes to me eventually. I got ears everywhere, you dig? Who were you talking about before? Let's see. You got anything useful, like stems? Stems? The hard stuff? Man, where were you a week ago? Those things were selling like brand new bullets in the mutant raids. The guards were buying that stuff in bulk. Hey, why don't you try a hit of sledgehammer? First taste is only $10. This stuff will knock you right on your ass, I promise. Well, if you don't have any, where can I get some? Huh. Beats me. I have... I had... A bunch of scavs who found the stuff for me. There's an old hospital in the Gap, but I stay away from that place. Ask Violet if you need directions. Oh, and if you find any you don't feel like using, bring them here. I could really use some. What do you need stems for? He leans in close and speaks in hushed tone. Look, Scav, I'm going to tell you something, but you got to promise to help me out. I'm in deep shit here, and if Mojo doesn't fight, I am well and truly fucked. I need you to find something for me, and I need it soon. Whoa, slow down. Why are you telling me this? Huh? You're a scab, right? You guys find things, right? Look, man, I know we ain't friends or nothing, but help a guy out, would you? I can promise I'll make it worth your while. Double, even. Another fetch job, huh? What is it you need? Look, it's easy. I need to find a stem. A good one. Mojo is good, believe me. He tore a guy's head off before we really got him. Or we finally got him. But he ain't taking on five pit fiends at once, tough. He needs an edge to get him through this alive. Well, long enough to win, anyway. I thought you were a dealer. You don't have anything to spare? Nah, man. I'm all out. It, wanted just the guard it wasn't just the guards buying it all. I had to pay off a bunch of dudes to help me bag this guy. One of them died. I wanted to get into this pit fight thing as a little side business, you know? But this is turning out to be way more risky than I thought it was. Where do you normally get your stems? I normally buy them up from scavers who bring them back. Some of them gangs trade them here when they want something with a little more kick. But most of my regular contacts died in that storm, and none of the gangers have any to spare. Hell, what kind of dealer doesn't carry the right drugs? I'll be a laughing stock. Why does he need a stem to win? Isn't that against the rules? Have you tried taking on a pack of bug dogs with just a club? He'll get shredded for sure. As for the rules, I'm pretty sure there aren't any. I don't want to get caught though, just in case. That's why I need something special. Alright, so what kind of stim do you need? Alright, so it needs to be a good one. No anti-rad. And it needs to be an injector, so I can spike him with it before the match without anyone noticing. Mostly it's got to be strong enough to keep him alive, but long-lasting enough so he doesn't crash halfway through the fight. So, will you do it? Any in particular? You're the expert. Man, I don't know. His odds aren't looking great without one. I mean, there are tons of different kinds out there. Something like Frenzy or Regen might work, but if you can find something stronger, that would be even better. Maybe one of those old military combat drugs you hear about sometimes. Where am I going to find something like that? There's an old hospital in the Gap. Ask Violet how to get there. Watch out, though. The place is radiated to hell and full of Mojo's buddies. If not, you could always whack a ganger and see if he has any. But trust me, I can pay you for the risk. What's in this for me? Aw oh, man, you'll do it? Trust me, man. I got it all figured out. Here's the plan. So you bring me a stim, yeah? I spike Mojo with it just before the fight. While I'm doing that, you put a ton of chips on him winning. I can lend you some. Everyone thinks he'll lose. His odds are so low, when we win, we'll be rolling in moolah. Oh, uh, I guess for you it'll be scrap. <laughs> I can't promise anything, but I'll keep an eye out. What are you waiting for? Just make it quick, okay? I don't know how much longer the guys will wait. The organizer's gonna kill me if we don't fight soon. Can't you give him more than one? Are you serious? I stick Mojo with a big-ass needle, you think he's gonna let me do it twice? Look at that guy. He wants me dead enough as it is. Nah, man. One stem, one shot. That's all I got, so it has to be perfect. Alright, so... Looks like we're going to be doing some shady dealings as well. Help dealer with Mojo find a stem. And it sounds like that's only going to be in the gap. Well, well. I think we have a full list of uh, 
a full laundry list of objectives to get done, so why don't we get started? Um, now, there is one more secret in this map, but the area that it is located in is not accessible from here. We actually have to go through west side to get to it. So, like I said before, let's go ahead and head over to west side and get some of those motorcycle parts while we're at it. And those 52 more kills, oh, trust me, we'll be seeing them soon enough. But for right now, this has lasted long enough. I think the scaver wants to get out of these dank, dark, dripping tunnels. So on we go, on we go. To West Side. Well. And here we are, in West Side. And that will do it for now. So yes, Undercity. Terminus. So many different new places to explore. And a whole list of chores to get done. Well, I think that level was self-explanatory enough. A lot of dialogue, a lot of objectives to get done, a lot of secrets to find. And looks like there's actually six to get here, and 66 kills. Isn't that perfect? But that'll be for next time. So, that was part one of Undercity. Yes, it will be multiple parts. At least two, if not three. No more than three, though. I know that much. But again, that'll be for next time. So, that was Undercity. I hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you all have an amazing rest of your day or night, and I will see you when we tackle West Side next time around. So, until that time comes, I will see you when I see you. Bye-bye.